and with this, our wizard's movement should now be synced with our other client. Ha! Let's go! It's done! Hello! Over this past week, I have been working hard on developing a multiplayer game for Godot. I initially tried to search good old YouTube for some tutorials on multiplayer, but all of them had one single issue. The server for all of them was written in Godot. Okay, and why is that an issue? Because none of the common public cloud providers, that is the place where you host your servers on, don't provide any dueling support for GD script. And I'm pretty sure that they will not for quite a bit of time. Again, what does it mean? It means that you would have to handle all the platform, the deployment pipeline, and the logging of your server all by yourself without any support from these guys. And if you ask me, that is very hard and moreover impractical. Why? Because your skills of making a server in GD script won't be transferable to anywhere else it's the biggest piece of dog shit that i have ever heard meaning that if your game becomes large enough where you eventually have to shift to other technologies to leverage their advantages like go and net you might face a very difficult time transitioning to them so is it not better to start using them from the beginning itself so my aim with this devlog is to not only show you my development process but also make this a little technical walkthrough to have you start running a multiplayer server just like this the core technology behind every single multiplayer game is websocket now what is a websocket <clears throat> WebSocket is a computer communication protocol providing a simultaneous two-way communication channel over a single shared transmission control protocol connection. Basically, you have a server and a client and the link that connects these two is called a WebSocket. The speciality of this link, one is that the connection remains online indefinitely provided either your server or your client don't die. Second, on this link, both you and your server can send messages to each other bidirectionally, add more clients in the mix and effectively all of them can communicate with each other and this whole collection is what you might call to be a typical game lobby my game was going to be a very simple multiplayer game a simple top-down lobby where the players can join and transfer their states that is their position their animation etc with each other a little more technical the client will send their players data to the server the server will in turn propagate this to the rest of the clients so that they can synchronize the local copy of this player on their client to implement the server open your favorite backend development language of choice since i hate myself i choose C sharp but not enough to go for this big yellow square. Set up your server to use WebSocket if while running it receives a WebSocket request from a client. First save the client as a hash set then receive the message from the client and finally just relay this message to all of the other clients in the same hash set. In this scenario, your server just acts as an intermediary between the clients. Speaking of client, open a fresh code project, set up your level and the player with your favorite sprite that you stole shamelessly from the internet, set up and run the game till now to make sure you haven't forgotten basic kitty script. Make a new script in your level, mention the server URL you wish to connect to, make a new WebSocket client, poll this client with the server in every frame. If the connection is still open, first you send your player state to the server and then receive the incoming messages from it. Once received, check if the proxy of this remote player aka the enemy with the same ID already exists in your level or not. If not, instantiate it and add its entry. Then or if it exists, update the state of the so-called enemy with the incoming one. Some keen-eyed one of you might have noticed that my server is technically running locally on my machine. So it is not technically a multiplayer. And to those people, I would like them to have a look at the beautiful world of local multiplayer. And to the normal ones, remote hosting is expensive man and I'm dirt poor so please like and subscribe this video so that I can become monetized and actually afford a fucking server and if you've already done so then why not go ahead and check out some of my other devlogs right here oh and by the way the game is complete okay bye